everybody, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Lens Island. Hopefully you guys are doing good today. I'm doing good myself. Do want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Also, big shout outs to the patrons on Patreon and the supporters on Twitch. Thank you all so very much for letting the channel to keep on rolling. And here we are with Lens Island. Uh, we actually streamed this, the demo, uh, back in when Steam had their big demo thing going on. And then also we played it one time on stream. And I figured, heck, I might as well do this too on YouTube because I am enjoying it so far. So it'd be kind of fun to kind of play this uh, as along with the other games we're doing on the channel. So anyway, here we are. I've already gone through the beginning, created my world, done all that good stuff like that. It's time to, well, make our character, I guess. Uh, on the stream, we chose no shoes. We will do shoes for YouTube, okay? Just an important thing. If you don't understand, you'll find out in a second. Uh, we'll go with Garth. Are we in Garth anyway? Garth or you'll see Yarrow. And then we are masculine. Yes, he definitely wear, he wears shoes, though. He wears shoes. Uh, definitely not. And then there we go. <laughs> Wait, where, where's... There we go. We'll go with that. That works for me. Um, can I change my eyebrow color? I can't tell if I'm changing it or not. It doesn't look like I am. I don't think I want a coat. Nah, we'll go with that. Uh, what else do we have? There's a long sleeve. That one doesn't look too bad either. The colors of the long sleeve. We have just those color choices. Nah. Uh, that looks okay. I'll go with that with a tunic type thing going on. There's big pants. We'll go with the rolled up shorts. That's fine. I mean, let's start the game. All right, here we are at the beginning. So we're using the mouse movement uh, abilities, and then we have hotkeys to switch between our different items. If you press tab, you can open up your backpack. You keep all your resources on you, but you have a cap. So we have a cap right now of 150. We have berries and food and whatnot, and then uh, our builderizations options are here too. Yes, this game has builderizations. If you're not familiar with it, uh, you have kind of a chillaxed overworld kind of thing going on with gathering, building, uh, farming, and stuff like that. Then you have like an underworld that has kind of like, uh, I wouldn't say Diablo exactly, but to me it's like a Diablo-esque thing going on. We do have to worry about food, so getting like blueberries and stuff going is super important. And just moving, see how we do that. Okay, you can also crit. If you see a circle happen, you can if you click again at that circle, you'll crit the next swing. So timing will help you well, gather things much more quickly. There's also a main town we will be looking for uh, to, we can buy supplies, sell supplies, buy, just, this is a nice mixture of stuff. Actually, I think this is it up here. Oops, I did a mouse wheel. And this is going to take limestone and stone to cross, and that is the bridge we need to get across. So, I'm t okay, here we go. Time each attack to trigger a critical hit for more damage. You can deal more damage timing your hits instead of holding down to auto hit. Next time you swing, uh, time your swing when you see the crit circle expanding. Click during the crit window to trigger a critical hit. Deal bonus damage for landing critical hits. And that's what we're doing. If we can. If we pull it off. If we stay consistent. If we... Man, don't mess it up like oh, mess it up again. There we go. It really isn't that hard on slower weapons. On faster weapons, it, it can be a bit of a challenge. So yeah, we need a variety of different resources right now uh, in general. And then for the bridge, as you saw, we need stone, and the yellow one was limestone. And they do a good job. They do a really good job in setting the aesthetics in the game. I feel that's uh, it's, it's enjoyable. I find it enjoyable. If I could swing, there we go, there we go. So we need those, those are kind of like your plant fiber things. And that went further down. I do like how they have the little occlusion visual type thing going on. Now I'm hitting the bush instead of the, the tree. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. There we go. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, the controls uh, are not, are, are not like this is like an adventure survival game and they're more the controls are more adventure-y I haven't tried the WASD way yet I assume that has more of a survival s type of feel and if you're wondering the camera is always in third person mode if you're in the middle oops I got hit by a tree that's not good if you're in uh editing mode you can move your camera around with your WASD keys a little bit and there is a screenshot mode as well so you can set up everything like that too. So there's, there's there's different ways to look at it, but when you're actually doing the gameplay in the game, 
this is your this is your view which honestly i feel like you get used to it and the way they do it to where you can see the stuff that's being normally hidden by stuff is is well done so it, it, it it's it's fine in my opinion sometimes though i will say this you feel like you're close enough to hit something but then the game says no no you're not okay there we go let's grab you let's grab all you and let's head up this way there's some clay up here. There's some limestone in the water. We need that. Give me some crits. Give me some crits. Yeah. Crit that limestone. Very nice. <laughs> I'm getting excited about critting some limestone. Good job, John. Good job. All right. There's some more limestone up there, and we're going to grab this clay. So our main goal right now, other than getting to the town, making some coin or whatnot, is to establish a base and get some, some farming going on so we can supply ourselves with high quality foods and tasty goodness. Uh, then maybe get into some weapon technologies too so we can handle some of the dungeons and just you know, kind of go that, that way, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Grab these marigolds. Very nice. More limestone. And we're gonna need limestone for other things as well, obviously, but the initial objective is getting that bridge up. I'm trying to make sure I hit these crits. There we go. And Q will let you roll, by the way. Uh, Q is a hotkey. As you get weapons as well, uh, you will be given skills that have different hotkeys that each weapon is specific to each weapon type, too. There we go. And bam. Uh, there's some glass. There's some more limestone. And this, my friends, is the beginning. So what I'm going to do is pretty much fill up on mats. And what we'll do is meet back at the bridge, get that thing built, and go into the town. So y'all hold on. All right. Welcome back. I was going to meet you at the bridge, but we are not going to do that. Uh, I forgot about actually placing a bed for nighttime. Uh, you can play through the night, but since we're doing, you know, this for you guys, too, it's kind of hard to see. So what we're going to do is there's this lovely little shack here that needs some loving. We just go up to it. Can I go up to it? Need some loving. There we go. That we're going to clean up just right here a little bit and put a bed in. Come on. There we, that was good enough. That's good enough. There we go. There we go. And I'm full on wood right now. As you can see, I have 150 wood, 99 of the fibers. 107 clay, 135 limestone, 69 stone. Let's go over here, though, and we can go to our tab and take a bed out and just place it right here in the hole right quick. Like that. That way we have a bed. Oops, wrong button. And we can sleep. And it stays at the same time as you sleep, so you're good to go if you do that. We go pick up a little bit of wood that fell down. So today we're going to go into town. Well, because it's the next day in the game, so we'll say today. I did have the, the game crash right after I finished recording the first part. Not sure what was up with that, but uh, anyway, this is the first time it ever crashed. Oopsie. I needed more stone. I was thinking it was the other way around. Well, then, uh, it's only 69 more, so maybe we'll find some here really quickly. By the way, there's two bars on your screen uh, below, well, next to the hot bar. The top one is your health. The other one is kind of like, is your stamina, and you use food to refill it. Uh, it's stamina-ish. It just also goes down when you're regenerating health and all that stuff, so there's... It serves multiple purposes. There we go. Get some more berries. I'll take those all day. There we go. More berries. Even more all day. Uh, there we go. Here's some stone. And crit. And crit. And crit. Very nice. Oh, I love putting stuff in my pockets. Though I have limited space in such pockets that I currently have in this game, but I'm still happy to shove stuff in them. Shoot, we'll shove you in the hole, too. Come on, let's do it. Very nice. Pocket time. Delicious. And then we can rebuild that bridge and head into town. Well, now, you can sell to vendors. You can sell to... Uh, you can buy from them. And what we'll probably do is sell all of our wood... Maybe some of the plant life we've got too, other than blueberries. There's some more. There's a clay. Did that not? Did I not gather out the second time? I don't know. We're gonna grab the clay too. I'm not gonna sell that if I can help. I might sell some of it. That's probably what I'll do. Uh, what what we need to do is get a house started up, get a workbench down, see the recipes we can unlock, unlock some of them if we have the materials necessary to do so. Uh, one of them being planters, and then a watering can. All right, let's repair it. Very nice. 
All right, entering into town. We're in Bridgewater now. Here is the mayor. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hello there, Mayor. It says Mayor Gerald. 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 There we go. I can do words. How can I help you? Uh, just passing through. Thanks. What is this place? What is this place? This is Bridgewater, Traveler. My name is Gerald. I am the mayor of, the, of, the, of this corner of the world. If you're settling on the island, beware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travelers have come to the island in search of its power. If you ever returned. This town is built from the travelers such as yourself seeking new beginnings, and the island is a paradise for those who dare to live on it. Just be careful, my friend. All right, we'll be careful, my friend. I'm going to grab these. But they don't need it. They don't need it. I'm being careful. These these boosters could just jump out and attack anybody. We, we're, we're saving the populace by doing this. I can't get the ones in the planter, though, unfortunately. Nice. And eat another blueberry. So we do have jump in the game, and you can do a jump roll to go further over gaps if you need to. As we go into town, uh, here is the the flower slash whatever vendor here. Let's see here. Let's sell some of these. Okay, we only have five to sell. Let's hold off on that. Let's try this one. How many marigolds do I have? All right, we'll sell five marigolds. All right, let's go over to you. How many of these do I have? I only have five lavender. We'll hold on to the lavender. Let's slide over this way. Actually, this is what we're going to be going for now. There's a backpack in here. Increases inventory slots to 250. Increases hot bar, sl hot bar slots to five. So that's super important. Uh, we can sell some of the dark essences we get. We'll get a uh, light stone too. We can sell that. And then over here is the blacksmith. He's got one recipe right now to make a refined mace, which looks pretty nice. Damage high, speed low, critical hits high, knock back high. Pretty solid. Hey there. How can I help, friend? I'm just browsing your goods. Thanks. Enjoy your day. Most of the NPCs in this game, that's what they do. Uh, there's iron shards. There's some salvaged metal, which you use this to upgrade recipe to get recipes upgraded. He sells coal as well. Uh, let's move back. I missed the lumberjack guy at the entrance, but let's go back here because there's a stone mason. Back here. And we can sell a little bit of stone. How much limestone can we sell? I'm gonna, oh, it's only, it's not that much. It's not worth that much, okay. And regular stone. There we go. And some clay. All right, we'll sell 130. Did I, was I looking at these wrong? I was. There we go, sell for eight. And then go over here. And that was, we were out of stone from building that bridge. Okay, good. All right, and then there's also a, a few more marigolds here. There is a couple more marigolds here. <laughs> All right, down here we have a harbor as well. There is another vendor here that has another kind of axe and mace, I believe. A uh, fugu flail. And then a bait and chop for the lumberjack who likes to fish on the weekends. All right. Oh, I can't break that one. There's also a vendor over here. There's vendors across the whole place that they pretty much have a variety of goods. I think you had a... Yeah, there's a spear. An ice lance. I'm sorry. Legend has it. This very lance was once yielded by a... Gr wielded by a great snowman warrior. Very nice. I... Switch. There we go. Destra... Destraza... Rapier. Next thing you will lose will be your left eye, followed by your right. And then battle hard Norse shield trimmed in gold and the remnants of the enemies. Also, sapphires are available here to buy and or sell. And again, most most stop. I'm pressing right click. There we go. Most of the vendors here, they just they don't have much to say as of yet. They just say, hey, what's up or hi, what's going on or, you know, that kind of a thing, which is fine. You know, I'm a new face in town. I understand. Uh, we also have a pirate island here, which there's a guy that you can play blackjack with. Yo ho ho, what a fine day it is. Wait, wait what's cracking ya, squally? That's got the words. Okay, anyway. I'm just browsing your goods. Thanks. Let's play some blackjack. I'm browsing some goods. So he's got goods somewhere around here you can buy. And then you can also play blackjack. Like if you want. Uh, let's just do two coins. Let's deal. Oh man. Blackjack. Wow. Well, golly. Okay. There you go. Winnings five. Yeah, I'll take them. Close it. I'm peace out. I just won. I'm good to go. I'm 100% I'm, 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 I'm wins. I'm playing that. I'm good with that. Some glass. And there's a there's a barrel. 
These usually have scrap uh, salvage metal in them, so scrap metal, and that, again, that's used for buying upgradable thingies. I think, I think iron's also used for it. I don't remember offhand. There was some. I remember there being glass over here one time. I don't know. And he has a sabarg, and there was something else. There it is, and a chaparg. There's also a cool thing with uh, weapon sets. When you collect all of one kind of a weapon grouping, like all the Fisher guy ones or all the pirate ones, uh, you can craft a special weapon from that set that is pretty powerful, it looks like. I didn't get really get to dive into it with the stream, but it looked really fun and interesting for progression. All right, uh, let's go up to... Well, we're, there he is, there he is. We're going to sell him all of our lumber. There we go. And we are sitting on 51 gold. So what I'm going to do is chop all these trees down and sell, chop all the trees down and sell, chop all the trees down and sell. And, uh, yeah, and then we'll be back because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it all. That way we can make some money and go buy that backpack and then get to work if I can hit the crits on this wood right now. All right, you guys hold on. All right, welcome back. And as you can see, I made 111 coins. I went ahead and restocked up some of my wood as well. I did get a little bit of stone. And we're going to buy the backpack. Buy. Bam. Got another slot. And we also have 250. We can hit max now on our on our stuffs. Now, I'm down to 10 blueberries, which isn't that bad, honestly. But I'm going to go ahead and buy some bump pumpkins. Because they look they're expensive. And, oh, whoops, wrong button. Oh, I did some rolls again. Uh, 36. Uh, I have 36. I'm going to buy one sack of five. Is there something else I can buy for a decent price? Uh, and we'll buy watermelons. Screw it. There we go. We bought we bought pumpkins and watermelons. We also have blueberries, so we've got some stuff we can make crunchy times with, which is important. All right, so we're gonna head out of town, and I did notice something back here. Over was it over this way? Yes. So you can buy land here. I'm guessing to build or something like that. I want to see. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I'm looking forward to seeing what that does. There is also a building in town. You can purchase as well, apparently. All right. So now that we have this, oh, we might need to make the forge first. I mean, the forge, but the workbench first. We'll see. I have a little bit of stone. We might have to hit up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and build up over this way. There's some stone right there, baby. I'd like to be kind of close to town and make it easier for transporting goods for sale or, you know, that kind of a thing. Uh, there is a cave entrance to the southwest. It's a bit better far off, and I'd rather not be directly in the middle. I'd rather be just be closer to town because I think I'll be going there more often. Famous last words, right? There's there's a whole bunch of stuff here. We'll hit it up here in a second. We'll grab these though. All right, and you need water for watering. If you didn't know that, that's 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 a, that's important information. If you need to water stuff, you need water. Let's do it right around here. This feels about good. This feels like a good spot to me. All right, so we're gonna pop this out. We're gonna pull this out. We're gonna go to this. We're gonna grab that. And we have a couple different options. R will rotate in a 90 degree fashion. You also can go up higher or lower. We'll go up a little bit higher and let's go like this. And that's fine. Let's start with that. And what am I out of? Did I got stuff in the way? What? Maybe that was considered in the way in that? I mean, we already got our house started at least. Yeah, it looks like they did not like Let's see what we're out of. So gonna, yeah, we need some more limestone. Okay. Well, shoot. Let me grab some limestone. Let me uh, gather some more mats up and we'll get some more building. I'm sorry about that. Y'all, hold on. All right. I've got some, several, some mats because I can talk. And I did get a little bit more blueberries. Just so make sure we're good to go on the crunchy times. I do not want to eat the pumpkins or the watermelons because we're going to be planting those. And that's what the purchase of them means. That's why we did it. That's, that's, that's the whole purpose behind it. Let's go and clear out these pieces here. We kind of just kind of like slaps the the axe around. It's like blibba, blibba, blibba. All right, let's hide over here. Grab this here. There we go. All right, we should be good to build now. Let's see. There we go. There we go. And we're gonna make a decent little place here, I think. There's that. Uh, let's go this way a little bit. And then maybe once we get some more wood, <laughs> we can come out a little bit further. But at least we have a start here. This is decent. I want to have a better shape than this. I had some similar 
before, and I want I want something with a little more flavor to it than just this. So what we'll probably do is bring out the front end some and have like a side entrance on the front and then have a way for our farming to be set up too. So that means I need more wood. What I do need to do is I'm going to move that bed. I don't, I'm not sure what all the requirements of cost are for, well, I can look and see, but I'd rather just go down here, grab this bed real quick, and then put it up here. Because it's just right around here. There it is. Actually, we can disassemble this whole thing too. So if I press F, I bring up edit mode. And if you left click, you can recycle pieces and get them back in your inventory, which, you know, this was a freebie here, except for the bed. So this way I can get some free mats back. There we go. We have 73 more wood now. That worked out pretty good. Let's go ahead and build us our bed. Let me put it like right there for now. And then, uh, oh, we can already do the workbench. Nice. Let's go pop a workbench up. I'm going to put it over. Uh, I can just break it down later. Let's put it right there for now. So the workbench itself is pretty cool. Uh, the UI might seem a little small for you, but you can use salvaged metal to unlock recipes. The first tab here, you can unlock more builderizations pieces. Then you have the refinery, and then you have the fireplace. You can get into some decor decoratory things. I'm going to say decoratory. Decoration stuffs. And here we have the planter. And that's going to cost me five salvage metal to unlock. And then I also... Well, also, you have weapons you can unlock as well. And then you have tools, and I need this water... Okay. Uh, <clears throat> manage your hotbar and backpack. Drag unlocked items onto your hotbar to equip them, or drag them an item off your hotbar to unequip. Any unequipped hotbar items are automatically sent to your chest for storage. All of your resources are accessible from your backpack at any time and do not require storage. Equip food directly dragging them from your backpack to your hotbar. And you can only carry a 25 stack on your hotbar of food, even if you, have, if you have more, I have found. So we have a tool chest down here, and this is what this shows our existing weapons that we have and tools we have. So back into here, go over to here, and what are you gonna need? You're gonna need some scrap iron to do it. So we actually have to go into the dungeon to be able to make that. Um, how about this then? I didn't think we we're gonna do it this soon, but let's let's just go right into the dungeon real quick and see if we can, uh, you know, maybe get some a couple little things without having to spend any cash flow, without having to lose anything. You know, we're sitting on ten blueberries. Let's head down there. Just want to get set up to where we have food. Food's so important in this game. Well, a lot of, a lot of survival games it's super important too. It just feels like it's more super important here. Speaking of which, let's go ahead. There we go. All right, and there we. Yeah, this is where you. Okay, porter right there, and it should be over this way. There it is. Okay, cool. We found it. Let's go in the hole. So you have a toolbox right when you come in. So if you need to switch out weapons or something, you can do that. And uh, there are lampposts and brazierers. The lampposts, you can spend five coal to light them up. The brazierers cost 12, but they will also regenerate your health if you're standing next by them. So it's good for like trying to get further into the dungeons. And we did get a little bit of iron from that one. All right, and go over here, there's some scrap. This will let us unlock. There we go. And this looks like it's coal. Or is it, no, that looks like iron. I can't tell. We'll find out. And these little nodes here at the beginning are probably all we need anyway. Uh, I, I'm not equipped enough to go further in, let alone have enough food to support me for a long-term engagement in here. That was just straight up just stone. That's just stone too. This was something before though, I think. Yeah, this is coal. You can tell by little nodules on there, I believe. And then there's another looking one for the iron. Come on, come on. There you go. There we go, we have 12 coal now. Is there any more right here? Here we go, here's something. Might just be stone. All right, that had some coal in it too. That's not bad, I'll take it. I guess I'll hit this one too. All right, and this one was just, I'm full on stone now. Just need a couple more. How much iron did I get so far? One, I need more iron. Uh, this area here, there's a bridge here you can re- There you go, this tells about the air rolls over long distances. Uh, this also, you can end up repairing this bridge too, there you go. 
You have to get to the other side to repair it, okay? And that needs more wood. I don't have more wood on me. If I had it, then we could have just done that right then. I got to be real careful. There might be some baddies around. I don't want to waste my coal on that. It is super dark. I am sorry, but right now I'm really low on resources, so it's not really an option to me. Is there any coal? All right, there we go right here. Here's some stuff. There's a, Oh, there's a big guy. Got rid of him. All right, I am going to start this one up because this is a... And see how it's healing me? And there we go. There's some iron right here. Luckily, these respawn over time too. So just coming in just a small distance uh, will allow you to you know, re re regain some more mats. Uh, enemies will respawn as well, but the lights do not go out. So it's worth it to turn them on if you plan to use them. That should be enough of what I need to do to get stuff done. Let's grab this too. No, not the light. Not, the, not that. Hit that. There we go. There we go. Nice. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. All right, we're back at the... the well, it's not really even a shack yet. At the foundation. We're back at the foundation. And we now have the mats we need to unlock the things we need. So let's unlock the garden bed. And then let's also craft us up a basic watering can. So now we have that. I can go in my toolbox and go over to the tools and have the watering can here. Yay. All right. Let's see. I'd like to have it. Well, we're going to need to get some more wood, I guess. So we'll get a little bit. At least we can get a couple planters up. One for the pumpkins, one for the melons. I probably should do blueberries too, but I, just, I got hit by my foot. I got hit by my foot. Well, not by my foot, but on my foot. By the tree. Oh, please be far enough away from the cliff. All right, let's just find out how this is going to go. So we can go here, and it's right here. We have a wooden frame farming area to grow your crops encased in wooden beams versus a wooden garden bed. Cute. Wait, so there's a... Oh, there's a little one, and then there's a big boy one. Oh! When did I unlock that? I don't even... Does it already show that I unlocked it? I didn't even realize there was two of them. That's kind of cool. All right, so I know we just came back, but what I'm going to do is chop down some trees, and we're going to go ahead and get enough for some of the bigger boy planters up. Uh, they're the size of the foundations, and they, they fill in nicely. So I'd rather have those up in the small garden beds, um, because uh, the, I know for sure that... Beast, 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 roll! God dang. Um, I know for sure that we have nine slots on each of the larger beds, and I, I definitely want the slots filled. So we definitely want to fill our slots. So... Let me go ahead and chop down a bunch of trees. Maybe get some more stones since I see it right there. And we'll be right back. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. So we'll take the framed. There we go. Nice. Let's rotate them like this. And I'm going to do... I don't know. Uh, I guess we could just... I like having walkways. But I think we're limited right now on what we can have available to us. Like space-wise. So... Let's just do that many. Let's just do that many. And as you can see, they start off darker and lighten up. This is what the watering is for. Because watering, you have to water your, your, your plant beds or they won't grow. I found this out the easy way, waiting for stuff to grow and <laughs> when I was streaming it. So there you have it. There we go. Watered up. Now let's hit this and let's place in pumpkins. And then you can do plant last. The mouse actually populates wherever the, the tool chip, whatever. You're good to go. You're good to go. Let's do this. It's just nice and quick and simple. And then this one. So we have watermelons and pumpkins. Over here, we'll do some blueberries. As I have some, I'm going to do the same amount. There we go. I guess I should have put blueberries up there, but it's too late now. We'll, we'll worry about that later. We'll worry about that later. And everything's already watered, so this is going to take a little bit for it to grow, and then we'll have crunchy times, and it'll be in our pockets, and we'll be good to go. And that, my friends, is the topic up for the day. Hopefully, you're liking what you see. If you're liking what you see, don't forget to slam the like button. Uh, this is a real chill game, so when you're getting the dungeons, it can get kind of loud. Uh, but otherwise, looking forward to getting some built here, and again, in conjunction with the other series as we got going on, this, on, the, on, the, on the channel. But either way, thank you all so very much, and you guys have a good night.